Hey guys, my name is Katie and in this episode I'm going to be just briefly kind of introducing you to a new tool that I've kind of been exploring lately and think it would be super awesome to share with you guys. So um, this is a program called Spark AR Studio. So if you've ever been on Instagram or Facebook and have used their um, filters on their stories, this is the program that creates those face filters. It is completely free to use to you. All you need to do is just go, uh, just search Spark AR and it will take you to an awesome um, page where you can basically just download it completely free um, for Windows or Mac. It is completely free for you to use. You can download it straight from this browser. And let's go ahead and just briefly kind of run through um, just some of the features that it has. So this is the basically the start menu. This is where you can select um, what kind of template you kind of want to start with. It has a couple that you can choose from, as you can see. Um, I usually just try and start with either a new project or if you do have a really specific one, you can go ahead and click on that and kind of start with, with that template. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new project. Um, and then it's going to ask you kind of just what do you, what do you plan on doing with it? Um, so we're going to do face tracking because I think that's a really cool feature. It's basically just a filter that is tracked to your own face. So when we go ahead and open that, it's going to give you like a blank tool here that you can use. So he's going to basically display our filter when we import it in. So over here on the left, this is where our scene details is written out. As you can see, we've got a device written. You can change your device up here to be um, whatever device you think that you're going to use your filter on. And you can also change the size of this guy so you can see how, how detailed your filter is. Over here is kind of like your properties and transformations. So like let's say I was to add an object in here. There would be different properties over here that you can change for that. Over here is your assets. So let's say you drew something um, on your iPad and you wanted to get it into here. So all you need to do is just export an image from your iPad or whatever you drew from. You could even just take a picture and you upload it as an asset in here. Um, and then you can import it into your scene um, as an object. So there are so many cool tools that you can use in here. Um, what's also really helpful is what you kind of want to do is also see the patch editor. If you've had any experience with nodes, manipulating nodes, um, or creating patches with nodes, this is where that's going to happen in Spark AR. So um, if you have any questions at all um, about Spark AR, they have an awesome um, help site. You can also just type in any of your questions um, and just look it up and your answer will be there somewhere. This is a program that a ton of people are using and it is something that is super useful um, if you want to start creating your very own original filters for Facebook or Instagram. So what I would do is I would just recommend maybe doing a 3D model or maybe drawing something in a 2D, you know, as a PNG and export it into here and play around a little bit. So this is a filter that I recently created, which is basically just two orange slices. I modeled a 3D asset of an orange slice and then I can bring it into Maya as an object as an OBJ for a 3D object and then all you have to do is just apply the texture and then map it to the face and you've got awesome little orange slices for eyes. So this is just a super simple example of what this face filter um, program can do. Obviously there's endless possibilities for what you can do for filters and I dare you to go explore them. It's a free program. It's awesome to use. If you need any help at all, Feel free to reach out to any of us um, on this program. And as always, good luck in creating whatever comes to mind and show us your awesome filters when you are done.